I'm out in my yard, this is my tree. I've got my hand paddles on. I wanna show you some exercises you can do during this really crazy time that we're all experiencing with the coronavirus. And I'm not making light of it. I want you to try these at home. Get a set of stretch cords. I have these with the hand paddles. You can get them just with the handles. But I'm gonna show you several exercises in succession and the combination, also the reps, okay? So I'm gonna bend over. I'm gonna lightly retract my back just a little bit to square my back up. I'm weighting my heels. And I'm gonna bend over so I'm almost flat, but not entirely. Just so you can see me on camera, I'm gonna start with my hands so imagine that I'm doing freestyle as I put my hands in the water. I don't want to start down here low. So bring them up high. And the first part and the first exercise is a half butterfly pull. I'm going to pull just below my chest line. So it's out in front. And again, ideally I'd have tension here and I pull all the way through. And the key on this is that you have a high elbow set, which you can see right now. And my wrist is, is pretty much in a neutral position. It's not flexed like this to begin with. So a lot of you, when you do this, you'll go like this and you'll pull back here with your elbows don't do that you have to have a high elbow set number one 20 reps right here pretty quick good high elbow set back pretty flat you're drawing your transverse abdominal set, and that's your lower abs and so you're not arching your low back and you'll put the tension out here a lot of you will feel this in your low back just be in this position number two full butterfly stroke so the front end's identical and i'm going to finish with wrist hyperextension at my hips so now that's i finish back here 20 reps full butterfly stroke all the way through. Number three, I'm gonna do freestyle with an underwater recovery. So I can start with both hands out in front, high elbow set, pull all the way through, underwater recovery, I'm gonna alternate arms, and I'm gonna do 40 of these, okay, 20, 20, and now 40 of these full strokes, and I'm gonna finish with 20 tricep extensions at the end. So I'm starting here at the base of my ribs. My elbows are still out, but remember on freestyle, they'll come in and my wrists are hyperextension at the end. So 20 of these on the end. You get it? 20, 20, 40, 20. And now we're gonna go to the next exercise. I'm gonna use these same things, but if you have handles on your paddles, they probably work a little bit better. Rowing motion. I'm gonna make sure I'm working my back when I'm doing this. So I'm gonna start standing up. I'm gonna squat down so you can see me here. And I'm gonna row up, and as I'm doing this, I'm retracting my shoulder blades, and I want my scapula to move. So it's retraction here, and as I go forward, I want my backbone, my scapula, to rotate around my rib cage. A lot of you are real tight, particularly a lot of the guys, your, your backbone is fused. So you want that backbone to kind of rotate around the ribs like this. So I'm protracted here, I've got bad posture, and now I retract and row up, that's number one. Number two, I'm gonna bend over a little bit more, hips go back, and I'm gonna row up, and I'm gonna start again, it's quite often easy with the handles on these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with my, my hands fully extended, and you see I haven't supinated, so this is how I'm gonna finish. So I'll start with my hands down, I'm gonna row up and twist, so I finish here. Now be careful that you don't throw your head forward and your inflection, and you look like a chicken while you're doing this, and be careful that you don't try to drive your shoulders for it, because you get the anterior glide and your humerus bone. So I'm just gonna row up and twist here, and now I'm gonna bend over a little bit further, because now I'm on my bike, I'm in my aerial position, and I'm gonna pulse this four times. So you're gonna do 12 reps, pulse it every fourth one five times, four, eight, 12. So I'm gonna row up and twist, and row up and twist, and row up and twist. I'm gonna do one more, and row up and twist. Now I'm gonna pulse it five times and retract that back a little bit. And as I go forward, again, my rib cage go goes around me. La last one is a step twist, okay? So I'm gonna hold these together. I can overlap my hands, and again, it's a little bit unwieldy with these, but that's okay. And, and you, you could be in your street clothes like me. So I'm gonna step 45 degrees, and I'm gonna twist like this. I'm gonna use my core, I'm gonna stabilize my shoulders. I'm gonna come back to center, step back at 45 degrees, and twist again. And I can increase the speed on this step right, and twist, step left, and twist. And that's a really cool exercise. And you're gonna feel this, it'll rev your heart rate up. And last one is a fly with an elbow drop. There's two parts to this, okay, and again, I'm gonna grab these other cords, all right? So I've got these other cords here, and where's the other piece? <laughs> and I'm gonna do a fly with an elbow drop, okay? So there's, there's two positions. I'm gonna start here, lightly retract my shoulder blades. I'm gonna go up and out, and if you can see on the side position, I'm, my thumbs are about in line with my ears, okay? And I have about a 130 degree, degree bend at my elbow. So I'm gonna go up and out, 
Then I'm going to keep my hands back and I'm going to drop my elbows down towards my side, really working my back muscles when I'm doing this. This is good for running, cycling, and swimming. Come back to the first position, down, relax. That's one rep. Up and out, drop my elbows down, back up to the first position, that's two. I'd like you to do 15 to 20 reps, take a breather. You can pulse this just like we did on the rowing. So I can take this every fourth one, one, two, three, four, five. And I really want to think about my back, not just my posterior deltoid. So get out of your house, work with the coronavirus. We're all trying to adapt. These are some cool exercises that you can implement in your program. Try them.